My name is Carol Mashigazita Fumane. Welcome to another episode of Addicted, where we talk about the substance abuse and the road to recovery. In our last episode, we talked about causes of addiction and um, effects of addiction. We are now going to look at rehabilitation centers. So today I visited a rehabilitation center in Mandara called Mandipa Hope. And with me today is Mayru Sike. Welcome, Mayru Sike. Hello, Carol. How are you? Fine, thank you. So, Mayru Sike, what really happens at Mandipa Hope Rehabilitation Center? At Mandipa Hope Rehabilitation Center, we deal with drug addicts, drug and alcohol addicts. So what we do is when we admit our patients, the first thing that we do is to request our lab to come for blood samples. The blood samples that we taste are the liver function taste, the UNE, which is the kidney taste, uh, the full blood count to see the amount of blood the patient has, the HIV and also the COVID taste. We take those ones to our psychiatric doctor so that the psychiatric doctor will give us a diagnosis which is proper from the taste and also the treatment. Thereafter, we buy the prescription as per the doctor's instruction and administer the medication. So when a client arrives at Mandipa Hope, they come to the administration block, which we are at right now. At the administration block, we try understand where the client is coming from as well as the patient that they have brought. It could be that the patient has decided to come in themselves or their guardians have chosen to. In such an event where the guardians have chosen to bring the patient in, we make them sign a consent form whereby they render Mandipa Hope with the access to doing whatever is necessary with the patient in order to curb any emergencies that come. After all the admin procedures has been done, we now come in with a security whereby we do the we conduct a search. So this search is not done on the open open space. We take them to a seclusion room, which is also a room where we do the screening process to uh, determine if the patient is not suicidal, is he not intending to cause self harm. Remember, our job is safeguarding and protection in mental health. And therefore, we do the search. After the searches, we are now looking at whether they are not intending to cause self-harm through searches. Some of these patients might even come with substance hidden within on their board. Some of them can come even with certain objects that are harmful. Remember some of them when they are uh, indulging in drugs, they tend to uh, get involved in criminal activities. So they are not people that uh, we can say uh, we just accept them and take them to a room. Screening process has to uh, uh, take place. We normally observe our patients to see whether they are not violent. In, if they are violent, we request the security to seclude them. Kanachiti kuwa secluder, kumu visa panavamwe, nukutu nuguna ukuwa zavamwe, unuguna kushikuwa za, Tom Vari Rapaning Ari Ega, do pate tam seclud. Kanakut, at times, to no anava muvaning washida kushuraya. We also engage the security and more nurses to observe. Besides that, the admin uh, department might also uh, inquire of our services when it comes to pick up. We provide henceforth uh, pick up services. Because remember these people, like I said, they might be violent. So we might be tasked to go and provide a pickup service. Okay, let's just go back again. You were talking about we are very violent, seclusion. Do you take people by force? Interesting, very interesting. Uh, 
Shema drugs. I'm good out in the right. Vashoma shoma. Tine department. Rinova zizisa. Kudzore zera unuya. Ratino tine occupational therapy department. We've got our clinical psychologist. Watino shanda nae. Tichiti zore zera unuwe mwana. After the patients are done with the medical interventions uh, from the other department, they are brought to the occupational therapeutic department whereby we carry out various activities, various fun activities. Uh, we make use of the individualistic approach and group approaches, uh, depending on the situations and the diagnosis that we would have uh, gotten from the medical department. So the number of activities that we carry out, uh, they, it includes uh, sporting activities, that is your soccer, your basketball, um, and any other fun games. We carry out these games in order to observe um, a number of behavioral changes that will be that will be exhibited uh, by the patients. We have got uh, some medication that were given by a, a psychiatric doctor, which are called the paralyzing need. When need arises, kana zai tika kuti mwana uyu unenge ane zani nge a kubona atunotima hallucinations. Ane nge ane zani nge a kunzwa zate isusuti apana chate chivona apana chate chinzwa. Ia ane nge achivona achita saa anota uradzimu nguwa na mwari chai. Umachita saa no shopera kushopera chai. Umachita so mporofita. Kana zwamu bata ipapo. Chiremba wano garabati uza isukuti mupe ipiri siere kana kutumuba ye ijekse. Tozo ita ma patients okuti bachivu ya banaba. We observe their weight. Vajinji bacho banu ya waka perezika. Vani nge vasa sadi kuchikafu. Mumuromo muno furuka. Saka we have got our dietitian. She just comes on board to give us a diet. Tinoisa mwana pasikero, tovo na kuti zera rake ne bonzo rake, ani nga achiti pechera dietitian, diyo no nyanya kuziba. Mairu sike, vanu vanengi wa shia ku rehabilitation center kwenyu, vanu gara kwe mkuwa ya kadini. Vanu ava, kajinji, kajinji, vanu gara, kana tichiti ana kunyanya kugaris, une nga ita mwezi mibiri. Nukuti mwezi woku tanga, ndi woku visa jino daka zwanga akatora, kujigeza, yatino ti detoxification. Ropa randa tauraria, randa timunu, tino mutora achipinda panu, rimweracho kajinji, ndilo rinozo ita kutisakati doktor, awone uandu, kwe madraki sanga ishito kwane munu ushu. Izo zondo zinozo ita kutipawone kuti, aa, uyundo funga kubisi wa madraki, kucha tola nguba ya kariba shwakati. Tozo inda kuna occupational therapist watataura uya, ano zore zira unu omunu, nema social workers, itimu. Tozo buda to inda kuna clinical psychologist, Ano batani za patient na babereki. Saka, vanu iva vava, tichita urano munu. Ndiyo jino zoita kumono kakavara. Kukakavara chaiko kutanduko na babereki wangu. Saka jino guna kutora mwezi mili kudarika. Clinical psychologist achingwe za kutawura na wangu. Sosha uweka wake achingwe za kutawura na yeku mzore zero. Uku isuwa mapirisi tichie za kurambatichi mpa mapirisi. Saka regai nditi, we get our patient on board. Pano pama ndipa upu for a minimum of two months, a maximum of depending on the severity of the condition. As if I know Gara for two months or more, but I think what you say by Mwedziya Kawanda Kadak. Vana Ava, Chanda Tano Gara two months or more. Vano Gara Pano Severi Pa Boarding School. Vano Gara Pano Pari Pamba Pavo. Pane Vanenge Vatino Tanga Kutituku Drena Ma Piri School Visa. Vane Zimba Zavo. Tinova isa taka tarira nyaya nda taura ye asha zia yo kutipani wa mwe vaninge vanovu ya vachinyanya kuita asha steri kwa ine ukasha. Saka tinozi wapa tinova isa vaninge vari tutu kana kuti one one. Saka shuchienda nukuti iwewe une asha zakadi kana zakanyanya unenge uri one. Kana une asha shoma unenge muri babiri babiri. Manesa anenga haripo akawanda security iripo. Saka manesa anenga chuna kutipana wa varu kunyatoji kujifida shaka na kairi. Pani wa mwe wanubu ya, shandata ura shia kutiba ninge waka nyanya kuterera weiti ya waka uperezika. So kuti ano vunda kubata spoon kudai. Saka manesa ni ngomu batira kumufida. Woo, this is very interesting. So that is our day that we've spent today at Mandipa Hope Rehabilitation Center. It's been very enlightening. I want to thank you, Mayru Sike, for the day. And I wish you and Mandipa Hope a lovely time with your patients. Thank you so much for watching Addicted. With me next week is Munya Chizonga as he shares with us his experience with substance abuse. I want to thank you for watching this show. Until next time, goodbye. 
This program was made possible by Mandipa Hope Rehabilitation Center, giving you hope, giving you sleep.